Welcome! My name is Ikeg from Ikeg Games. Uh, you kind of know who I am now, otherwise you wouldn't click this. I, I'm guessing. Maybe you don't. I mean, do what you will. But, notice, different from other videos that I've uploaded so far, I've started with a creation already out. This is a map that I've created, I wish to say, about a year ago now? No, 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 no. Maybe half a year ago now. And I created it with carrion crawlers. Yes, that's going to be the topic of today. Carrion crawlers. Carrion crawlers scowl putrid flesh from carcasses and gobble the slimy bones that remain. They aggressively attack any creature that trespasses into their territory or disturbs their feasting. <laughs> All of these uh, descriptions are designed to... Uh, bring a little bit of creativity. It doesn't really say specifically what their lair consists of. Uh, it does have patient predators and carrion eaters being their traits. Uh, they have a keen sense of smell. They've got spider climb being 30 feet, normal speed, moving 30 feet. Armor class, 13. Hit points, 51 or 60, 10 plus 18. You can do a lot with that. Being a challenge rating 2, however, as you get to the higher levels into a campaign, it may be a little bit more difficult. That's why I created this map. Well, this map I created majority because I like the concept of the crawlers. They get a bit of a swarm pack tactics. They have two attacks. For one, they have multi-attack. They attack with one each. They have a tentacle, and they have a bite. The tentacle is a 10-foot range. Keep that in mind. That actually comes in handy. So you can attack somebody that's behind the front line, should you choose. If they're just being a cowardly little cleric, you know how it goes. Or a rogue that's just like moving in and out, backstabbing. And it does good little bit of poison damage. 1d4 plus 2. The target must succeed on a 13 constitution saving throw or be poisoned. Until the poison ends, you're paralyzed. Repeat at the end of each of its turns. So... Not terrible. That paralyzation, I managed to kick off of one of my players once. But, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. This map, I brought it because, look at it. It's the graveyard. I call the map the graveyard shift. Obviously. But, let's start with the entrance. The entrance, everybody walks up to the uh, location. I mean, it's just because you see a graveyard. You don't really expect predators to come in and start doing things from externally. You I mean care if you know of carrying crawlers, then it's a potential risk. Any kind of battlefield you come across, even a recent fight, a going underground. I mean these things are predators and they're very patient. Let's go ahead and read about that real quick. Whether in subterranean darkness or hunting at night, light signals a patient potential meal. A carrion crawler might follow a light source from the distance for hours, hoping to pick up on the scent of blood, despite their great size being a large monstrosity. Carrion crawlers can easily set up ambushes by waiting around blind corners for prey to come to them. Or in this case, they're busy feasting in these holes or recently upturned terrain in the graveyard. You could have zombies being in here. They, of course, love... The carrion crawlers, that is. Having a nice zombie meal gives it a nice little bit of a fight. And they're, they, they can't really become zombies. Unless you're doing a zombie campaign, then by all means have a carrion crawler with the zombie trait of being undying. And that they have the constitution save. And they can come back up. Constitution being 16, that's not a bad bonus. Carrion crawler roams its hot tentacles probing in the air for the scent of blood or decay. In tunnels or ruins, carrion crawlers scurry across the ceiling as they move for, towards food. In this way, they avoid combat with oozes, unchos, and other dangerous inhabitants of the darkness. Even as they surprise potential meals, they don't think to look up. Well, in this case, not looking down. I've shrunk for the case of my carrion crawlers. I've shrunken them down. Of course, due to the fact that I shrunk mine down, I made them one square to fit within the mounds that are in here. It was a party level, I believe, of seven at the time. Had about 
six or eight coming from all angles. I waited until they are in the middle of it, having them surrounded. The ten reach of tentacles initiated the combat. Rapid response of constitution saving throws. Of course, adding a ranged enemy roaming up from here, causing the initial cause of the party showing up. That's, that's an idea. For example, my campaign started with an escort quest. There was a grave site that has fallen to disarray. The local priest has been long missing. Well, safe to say, we found the priest. And the carekeeper has long since not reported. So, you said the adventuring party to investigate or to escort the new cleric or priest to their destination. But going to the front, that has a plaque stating, ah, you're in the right place. The door being slightly ajar, stating, ah, oh, recent entry. The other avenues of entry, there's a, a uh, log of a long dead tree has fallen against the fence, causing a slight dent in the fencing. Not so much easy to climb up and over with our climbing speed, mind you, but with the log assisting, you could probably take your time and gently climb your way up instead of going the vertical route. Or you could take, if you do not wish to have the rotten log and people are scared of it falling on you, you come over here to a lively one. Make a jump after a climb to safely land over. But fair warned, if they fail, they could be impaled and take 2d6 piercing damage from the spikes on the railing. You could do as you will. Do as you will, game masters. Or players. And send this to your game master and see what they think. But for this instance, my players, I showed them the entire map. They chose to go in, go to the middle. Carrions and zombies popped up at it everywhere. The uh, carrions feasting on the zombies. And the zombies are very disarray. But the zombies didn't really react to the carrions. They react to the living, the humanoid presence in the area. So, they immediately went after their targets. As for in the distance, the initial cause of woe, I had a specter fly in, causing the desiccation of the poor priest and disintegration partially of the poor groundskeeper with a little bit of flair and stuff like that. So, combat begins, and, well, it goes about as well as you expect it. You have a specter shooting spells from long range. Uh, several of them, yet having the four eye stalks. The carrion crawlers being tanky level twos, with the HP as stated earlier. Zombies for getting back up after you just knock them back down. It's, it turns into a bit of a slog. Of course, the player characters immediately realize the true threat have a circle in placement. They, refusing to have a cleric, was actually guarding and escorting a cleric and PC this time. So, the cleric helped dispel, being of a lower level, helped give them a little bit of resistance with their newly found paladin with their aura for increased saving throws. So, they were able to resist majority of the opponent, but unfortunately, the druid succumbed and the specter was bombarding the party. The wizard of the party immediately realized the true threat, targeting the specter and taking him down for, with some effort of the other spellcasters. It tended to be a bit of spellcasting heavy party. Then the brawl continued after the annoyance of the specter being gone. And you can have more pouring out of the crypts, have an entire horde coming out through here, have uh, maybe a different sort of enemy instead of that, have a, uh, a group of kobolds or hobgoblins who have managed to tame the carrion creatures, pour out of the houses, maybe trying to use this as a temporary base of sorts, killing the priest and the caregiver just to have it and have a place to feed their newfound pets. It's, it's completely within reason to use all of those sorts of combinations. But we're here to create a map, not 100% see what I have done already. So, this is a bit larger, for I needed to have more size to get the scale of things. But for the sake of this, we'll create a new dungeon. We'll, we'll do, let's see, Carrion Eaters. Let's read the next trait before we continue. Ah... Uh, Yes. Carrion Crawler follows the scent. Prefers to not compete 
with other scavengers. These foul creatures thus hunker down in their territories where death is plentiful and other carrion enters have limited mobility. Caves, sewers, dungeons, forested marshes are their favorite lairs. A carrier crawlers are also drawn to battlefields and cemeteries. For this case, we'll be doing a battlefield. Have a nice war tour little battlefield you can use for your skirmishes, multi use. Uh, have body piles, you can have a zombie infestation, a zombie beholder infestation if you really wish to. Let's continue. Carrion Crawler roams on the hunt, its tentacles probing the air for the scent of blood or decay. And tunnels or ruins, it scurries across the ceiling. Yes. Yeah, when facing potential prey, Crawler lets its poison do the work. Mm. I believe I've already said this, but again, unedited, unshamed. <laughs> so, we'll be going for a traditional roll 20 default, because it's there. We're keeping the planes. We'll go through a uh, battlefield source. So, a war-torn battlefield. Let's say, let's stick away, maybe dirt ground. Yes, have majority dirt ground. Have a couple of patches. I already like that. Dirt, mossy brown patch. No, 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 no. That won't work. Ah, maybe a few pieces of cracked mud. Yes, that would work. Get a little bit more uh, shade lines. Give a give a little bit of a swamper kind of area over here. Just just a bit of patch in the dirt, as though there's a patch of grass. Maybe say this denotes to a hill of some sort. Uh, the rougher edges over here being a steeper. Elevation. Now, that doesn't look bad at all. Let's see here. I always like the savanna. Yes. I get the... Get the, uh, swaths out of the way. Good. I think we've got a nice little ground foundation. That'll do fine. A little toxic lake. We could potentially use that later, but... We will not do it for now. Let's, uh, open battlefield... Things is going to be a lot of violence. No furniture, miscellaneous. No, 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 no. I mean, it depends on how old you wish it to be. But there won't barricades. Hmm, that's an idea. Let's let's start with barricades. Barricades, barriers, spiked barriers. I have a preference. Hmm, that's a bit on the large side. Probably not. Barricade. Barrier. Barrier. Spikes. Ooh. Mm, that'd be good for a siege defense. Not barrel. I'm sure I wouldn't barricade. Mm. Yes, you could have an encampment. That's not a bad idea at all. Let's uh reduce its size quite a bit. Have a... Uh, not random, so to say, but... Have it rotate just nicely. Let's have a, uh, a, maybe a central location, like this being the hill. They were defending it at first. Yes, um, we're going to have this probably be a bit smaller. Uh, large pieces of wood. Remove the lock, of course. Defending the uh, hill rampart. Yes, very... Want to go a simple barricade? No, maybe that won't work. Barricade, spiked barrier. Mm. Tons of options. Tons of options. No, 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 no. These that that just doesn't feel right. Does it feel right? Doesn't feel right at all. Maybe not structures. Vegetation. If it's a war-torn battlefield, you can't really go against burnt, dead. Trees. Ah. Uh, reduce it. Randomize it. Place it. Place it all around. Have a few of the dead trees. Let's say dead. No, 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 no. Let's have tree. 
winter tree. Ah, nice large one in the middle, denoting or over there wax. That's, that's pretty nice. And the uh, mud crusted area. Let's go through the trees again. Is there another assortment? A few more. A few more creepy trees. There's some uh, tree bear. We can use these as uh, bushes, mayhaps. Yes. Randomize a few uh, sprawled out bushes. Yes. There we go. Right there to finish it up. Have a nice overcast shadow. Denoting how big the tree is. Now you can see the barrenness of it. Now we need true decoration. Let's continue going through the actual list. Vegetation? No, we're good. Black and white? No. Arches? No. Mm. There could be loot on the battlefield. I'll leave that to you. That I will not force any of the loot. And that's good. For my personal games, I'll go back, edit, add a few things if I need to. Um, maybe barrels, bars, beds. Ah, that's one for sure. Yes, yeah, so we'll have a boat in the middle of a battlefield. Have an ocean map. Pretty simple. Water. You're done. <laughs> bottles. That's not a bad idea. Have a few bottles, empty bottles, mugs, weirdly colored contraptions littered across the battlefield with it as well. Boxes, crates, containers, nothing good. Bridges, burial, mm. bushes, cacti, cages, prison, hides, carts, and wagons. Could there be a war cart nearby? Chairs, chests, no. Coins, crafting, forging. Crates, crystals, cushions, hair, the bodies and bones, desk, doors, dummies and trading, fence, palisades and walls. Ah, here we go. La modern, modern, modern. Hmm. Not exactly what I wish for. Hmm. Very well. Fire. Ah. Could have a uh, a fire going around. Being a recent, have uh, some wooden cart or something on fire. That would add to the effect. Let's have over here. I'll place that for now, and go to a cart. Have it a funeral cart. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, a war cart. That'll do. Saying some of their munitions, some of their uh, primitive bombs of some sort. It being a uh, decently sized war cart. Have it over to the side here. Use that. And say that there are indeed weapons within the cart. Well, are there better cart than that? Maybe. Markets, luggage, wheelbarrow, war cart, war cart, war cart. This may be better. Just delete that. Have it here. Random orientation. I don't know. Like, face it, face it down. There we go. To grab that, delete. Have it burning, lit a flame, still burning from the recent battle and effects in the area. Or you can say that this was a uh, remains of a caravan of some sort. We're going to be adding plenty of those uh, other effects as needed later. Fire ring. A lot of magical effects here. Magic rockets. Rocket, rocket. Flags. Ooh, banners broken. It's not a bad idea. I don't like the black splodge, however. Uh, standard, standard, standard. Uh, pirates, bandits. Go, 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 go. Upright blank. Ooh. The standard being face down. That's not bad at all. Like a small tribute. To the defenders within the area. Uh, let the, the border clashes a little bit. Hold on. Maybe not. I'll look again. 
Uh, it doesn't seem to, I mean, it's flags, it's, uh, it's good, it looks good, but it, it seems to be a little bit off. Maybe. Have some of these waving flags, use this or that. Uh, no. Uh, how they have it still standing. Maybe potential loot in the area. Flares. Oh, we're not doing modern. Go away. Well, you can do magical flares. Food. Ah, oh, that could be a trap. Tracks. Here we go. Horse tracks. No tracks. We've got the uh, blood trail up here. We'll be fine with tracks. Fountains. Games. Gardens. Gates. Gears. Ghost furniture. Ooh, greeting. Holes and hatches. Houses, huts, keeps, ladders, letters, library, lightning, magical effects. I've had a ton of fun with that one. Market pavilions, modern sci-fi. I believe there's some Star Wars stuff in here. There's Alien. Hmm, maybe not. Mushrooms, mushrooms. Music, occult, peers, plants, odd, shelves, siege. Ah, to have a true war, you would need siege equipment. Now, would any of this fit in a small-scale battlefield? Probably not. If you're going to have a larger siege, I can see you can add in your own to it. Add a fog, a mist, add some smoke, magical smoke in the area. Well, that's not a bad idea. Stage, more statues. Hmm, saying a basilisk could come by. Maybe. Symbols and etchings, I like to use these for puzzles and stuff in the area, especially in temples and ruins. Tables, taverns, temples, a tent. Any of these destroyed? I could have it, have a few, so to say, in the back, back here. Around the campfire? No. No, 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 no. Maybe not. Being a battlefield, uh, it could be an ambush location as well. That would work. Somebody's been ambushed. Torches, bazaars. No. Traps. Ooh, spinning blade. The globe trap with a bug in it. Just a globe trap. Persons inside of a globe trap. Railing. Saw blades. Ropes. <laughs> More trees. Weapons! Let's see, any of these are uh, particularly useful? Have a, uh, um, have a few. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have two of these. They're gonna be small and they're gonna be scattered. Maybe near the cart. One, uh, one over there. Have a uh, shaman staff? No, no, no. Uh, just normal shields, most of them being broken, old, swords, I don't want to make it look too unique. If you make it look too good, people will immediately go after it. Mm -hmm. Have, uh, ah, here's a Warhammer, Wizard Staff, Winged Sword, Wands, we're going for the Harry Potter approach. Staves? Oh. My, oh my, that Warhammer. It's quite large. Uh, say, there's a Warhammer leading, leaning just, it's uh, just within the envelopment of the fumes. It's and burning white hot. Uh, if you go to the bottom end, it's still hot to the touch. But with a uh, constitution saving throw, you could potentially pull the Warhammer out of the fire. Give something to do. Ah, yes. Eggs. No eggs. Wood. Mm, debris. Chopping blocks. Branches. Debris. Debris. Branches. No, 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 no. To be on a tabletop. No, 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 no. I like their structures and stuff. There's textures. There's cars. There's chairs. There's fountains. There's grates. There's interiors. There's markets. Ooh, there's more siege equipment. A pig pen. We don't need that. We don't need planetary stuff. More rocks. Mm, I do like some good rocks. Rocks are good. Mm, that would look nice. Random stones, maybe. 
Uh, scale this down, throw it around. Still, there we go. Make it, I like to rotate it different from the default. Uh, have a large protrusion there. No, 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 no. It doesn't look like it fits in that location. That works better. Any other random stone piles, maybe? Can't even see these. Uh, littered throughout the uh, area. Good on rocks. Ah, sci-fi structures. Sh generators. No, 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 no. I ain't touching that. Ah, here's the uh, Star Wars equivalent. Even get some bushwhackers in here. I know a few people who would love to have some mech tech equipment in here. Imagine playing this. There's a vulture. Oh wow, I'm getting all. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sci-fi. Yes, yes. Transports. Ships. Ah, a couple of good ships. Don't need those. Don't need stairs. Oh, no, oh, that's the end of it. Okay. Maybe a, a few more weapons. Uh, mostly been picked clean. Uh, let's just have a hand axe, maybe. Or uh, a mace. No, 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 not a, no, no. two-sided mace would be interesting, but no, 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 no. Glowing sword, elvish, a flintlock. A destroyed flintlock? Completely rusted? No, 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 no. Pistol, axe. Ah, a normal mace, so to say. Give them uh, something to look for. Keep in mind that these items are going to be small. They're going to be all over the place. Now, that's good for weapons. That's good for weapons. Now we get to go for the filler. The blood, rust, dirt, and cracks. Uh, scorch marks. Let's, let's get keep on going with that. Let's get more, maybe, scorches. Yes. Still some red from this one. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Came out of nowhere. I'm keeping that in. <laughs> excuse me again. So, random orientation. There's going to be a uh, fire blast nearby. Maybe, maybe it caught the wagon. That would coat... Uh, I would coat it quite well. And I delete the, uh, delete that, capture that, move it over. I would like the wagon to delete, delete. I'd like this to be under, delete, and then you get this, yes. Good little fireball going on. Delete that. Have a shield close to the flames. And then you have you. Partially. Partially being enveloped. Some type of rod. You don't even have to tell him it's a Warhammer. Make him think it's some type of magical weapon. It's the reason why the fire started in the first place. But let's continue with this. Uh, a couple of... Splatch. Splotch. Maybe one more scorch. Ooh, maybe. Uh, this being on the larger side. I do like that random rotation. No, 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 no. I think I'll do... I think I'll have an upward blast radius. Denoting like a... Hand of flames. What is the spell called? Uh, fiery fingers or something, something, something. <laughs> uh, need some old bloody trails. Having, uh, this will color nicely. Uh, splatter. Ooh, that's, that's way too large. Uh, that's too new. Let's, let's continue with old. Yes, I, I, I like that. Have a. Um, some, uh, swatches here. Uh, some, uh, swatches there. Mm-hmm. Maybe... Have, a Random... Get some, uh, get some tracks up there. Saying that the blood's been a while, but there's some, there's some fresher... Fresher... 
existence. So with that, we'll have the child remains being about scaled. Whoever it was did not survive. Last few, few survived indeed. Uh, completely unable. No, 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 no. Don't want completely removed. You have... Ah! Dig. Interesting. They have wings. Body male. Uh, maybe... Crispy guy. Ooh. That works. That works quite well. Nah. No. That, that'd give too much. Too much. Let's say... No, not a barbarian. There's a potential... There's a plate male. Don't want to give too much away. Don't want to give their classes unless you wish to. I'll leave that for you guys to add an experiment with. Uh, some dead humans. Uh, I like this. This will this will work. I can have him say he was uh he took a wound and he crawled away from the battlefield, only recently expiring, or he woke up and recently tried to crawl, eventually succumbing to his own wounds. Yes. Pile of red stones, you can say, or there's just a gore pile. I mean, it's, it is what it is. You can have sand. Oh, no, don't do that. That, that didn't exist. So, an uh, electrocute death. Uh, a, a rogue paladin. There's a, a frozen priest. Frozen warrior. Uh, female fighters. Uh, hands. Frozen. Ah, no. You don't want any wall mounts. Uh, you didn't see that. Uh, skinned? Maybe not. Hmm. Skulls tortured. Ah, you could you could add a couple of a couple of them have been tortured before the end. I guess we will be going through uh, dead people who have been mostly stripped of their belongings in a battlefield. Yeah, so remember, five by five. If they want to be about five foot tall, they'd be about right here. Make about six foot tall, be about right there. Because remember, it's a five by five square. Unless you're using your own custom rule sets, I'm not gonna say either way. You do you. I'm going to have on B, traditional, about five foot. Uh, yeah, let's have a couple of them all over the place. Uh, that random rotation is not actually randomizing, is it? it? It rolled three times in a row. Let's see. Uh, dead. Have. Hmm. Say that she's been stripped. Clean of her possessions. Her arm has been ripped off. She's still got... She's still presentable. Yes. Don't want to lead anything up to that kind of nonsense. Unless you're going for that. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to judge. But it's a war. Crap happens. I mean, it, it, bodies be bodies. I'm not going to say either way. She's going to be dressed, though. I, I do not... I do not endorse the removal of clothes on any person, especially after they're gone. Just no. Uh, have her resting. Yes. A bit, almost at peace at the end of it. Um, have a few... Norlock. Ah, maybe a couple of... I, I want more unidentified bodies. I guess we'll go for charred remains. Uh, some fire. Just, uh, I've used that one enough. Let's go for the other one. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Have. Maybe this has been a long term. Like a long term causality of effect. You could have somebody didn't manage to uh, escape the flames in time. Have that. No, 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 no. Not that, that one. There we go. Delete that. Again. Place it on top. He did not manage to escape his flames. Most unfortunate. Most unfortunate indeed. Ah, maybe have a pile. It'd be interesting. A lot of them have been stacked. A lot of them have been, oh, 
You can't really go without some dismemberments, unfortunately. You can have... Eh, I guess we shouldn't go too hard. And the uh, pile. Let me see if there's anything else. Bod. Well, that didn't help. Well, there's the rest of it. Um, not really. There's a thing of dead rats. That that that's interesting. Oh, this is this wouldn't be a bad one. You say he's wearing some uh, padded armor and clothing. Go for that. Uh. Oh, that's way too large. I forgot my scaling. Ah, uh, one there, one there. Uh, again, face down, you can't tell, male or female, and it tends to be better that way. You don't want to start identifying when it comes to the deceased. This, ah, we're getting into things that don't really need to be talked about, do we? <laughs> ah, two different factions. Oh, that's a, that's a tall lady. Nah, maybe not that tall. That's about five foot. There we go. Some fighting, bodies, uh. Seems a bit barren. Well, you could have this be the remains of a dragon. Like a dragon came in. Like, again, scorch marks, or things on fire. This could also be a dragon instance. Hmm. What else can we do with this? It's being a war-torn battlefield. Uh, you could have your own NPCs here. You could have uh, living NPCs. You could not have it two-sided on a war-torn field. You could have a player character coming up after the fact, trying to salvage, accident... Gently, excuse me, uh, coming up, you can have carrying crawlers. Uh, again, carry, they would they would most likely not be underground for this, but they would be hidden maybe behind some rocks or camouflaged. They have a bonus to perception, but they're still only being a plus one with a dexterity of 13. So, they're being large creatures. They would not peripheral, they would not be expedient in this, but it would be a nice little ambush, or you could have them hiding in the tree, uh, coming over to investigate the standard where majority of the bodies are, and you have a group of one or two hiding up in the tree. Not immediately apparent. Uh, let's do maybe something down here. Uh, have Maybe have a couple of living trees. Uh, I'm liking that idea, because you need to have some type of way for them to ambush. Correct? A bonsai tree... Large tree. Yeah. Now, that's too clustered. Tree. Give me one that's a bit as a desert tree. Now, tree. I'll keep going for it. I mean, there's there's quite a few options. Dead trees. Uh, what would look good? That's the choice. That's the choice. Unedited. It would always be unedited, because, yeah, why not? Give people a thought process. I'm going to forget to do stuff all over the place. And you want ambush opportunities when it comes to carrion crawlers. But it's mostly the looking up. Uh, keep in mind, passive perception builds would probably nuke this. But then again, you can use this map as a dragon. You can use this as a uh, orc horde roaming across the countryside, and you're coming across the remains of one of their most recent wogs, if you want to go 40k, or pillagings. Or a straight-up war conflict. Like, in my campaign, there's a war going on. Pine tree, green tree, Ooh, don't have that white background. Chestnut, lodge tree, Desert tree, 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 night tree, tree. Maybe this one. Ah, well, that's large enough for sure. Have it. Yes, I like that. Then I need a, a little bit of a library. Let's go. Is there plants? Uh, it'd be P. There's plants, odd plants. Uh, mushrooms. Where did they find the tree? Foliage? Fence, fair, footprints, food, fountains. Mm. Plants, plants. A bush. Give it a bush. Uh, give it some random orientation. Uh, bushes again. A, a little bit green to the south, not so green to the north, denoting... 
the horror in the area and fire, fire bad. Uh, yes, bushwhacker. I need a giant robot in my in my battlefield. No, 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 no. Maybe, maybe some more to that. Add a add a add a add a, add a little add, a, add like a one green splotch. Don't make it too too hasty. The tree obviously burnt down. Uh, or charred, flash charred by whatever magic has happened. It hit the ground and bounced up immediately, catching the tree over time. That works. A little bit of, little bit of variance, a little bit of color. That being a priority focus area. There's a little bit of change in color, a little bit of priority of focus. You got a splash, you got more bodies over there. The player characters will see majority of priority in two locations. Over here to the right, due to the change in red coloring. And over here, to the darker coloring. You have black, you got the green, you got the tree, you got the flag. That's the signal right there. You can see the lady leaning against the rock. She's got a weapon, potentially. I mean, you can say it's rusted or broken around repair if you don't want to give people just a free mace. I mean, it's like 5 GP or 3 GP. I can't remember how much a mace is. I'm not all-knowing. But you can have them hanging from the tree. You can have them immediately doing an ambush in this tree. But either way, the bodies are probably not ripe enough yet for the crawlers to proliferate or uh, proliferate, uh, feast. Or they, they do not prefer chod, they like decay. So, you can have a dragon encounter, you can landing right here, the dab in the middle, they come over here, check it, landing right here, landing right there. You can have this be a fire mirrodon, a rogue fire mirrodon, getting rogue from a wizard that has come through. Go ahead and end that. Uh, a mirrodon, by the way, is a, a uh, contracted fire elemental, for those who don't know. Uh, it tends to have plate armor or a type of armor. Its AC is fairly high. Its difficulty is pretty higher than a normal elemental. You could have uh, all sorts of things. I may use this for a uh, a roaming horde. I, I, I may end up having... Uh, I had a goblin horde, a war horde, come by not that long ago. And I may have the uh, Warlord, which they left on 1 HP from a Disintegration Ray. I say it welded the armor to his person. Uh, they turned uh, they turned around and called him Darth Gabo. <laughs> so, there's a, uh, a go hub goblin general running around named Darth Gabo who is completely disfigured. I may have this coming around with that. Uh, carrying crawlers. Uh, you can have Cambions, which are some devils. There's some uh, fiends, fire fiends. Hmm. There's a lot. As for next, I'm not entirely sure what I'll do. I think I've decided that I'll probably try to do one of these once a weekday. Just have this about five times a week. I could do that. I have plenty of time to do this. I've got plenty of material. I could go through almost every creature in the monster book. But, again, as per usual, thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like if you like the video. Leave a dislike if you don't like it. If you do, please let me know why in the comments. I can try to fix what I'm doing. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'll never say that. And uh, subscribe if you like the content. You want to see a lot more of it. And uh, thank you again. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.